Hello, this is Minister G.R. Harden of the Vice Blood Ministries. I want to talk to you for a moment about 2016. We have had a, some highs and some lows in 2015, and, and we thank God that we, we made it through. And although we, we've had major calamities uh, dealing with uh, 2015, uh, we've seen uh, the likes of um, the shooting in South Carolina of the nine uh, church members that were massacred uh, by, I believe, Dylan Roof, um, killing the nine people in that church. And really, that was nearly the start of, of, of really putting a, a major stain on America. You cannot imagine how powerful that 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 incident was uh, dealing with the murders of people in in one of the, the most sacred places there is and that is in a, in a sanctuary and here now the enemy in white supremacy doesn't really care where they kill you at and then we have the the roads and roads of police brutality uh, that has happened uh, dealing with the people of color and black folks are the only folks that are being murdered every 28 hours a, a black person is murdered by the by a police officer in 2015 the murders of, of, of innocent black people uh, exceeded 2014 by over 250 people it was, there was nearly 900 people that were murdered by the police officers in 2014 and nearly 1200 in the 2015 and then on January 1st, it was one of the first murders in Chicago, a young uh, brother was murdered only hours after being in 2016. This message really is about galvanizing the people and really clearly understanding and understanding that this won't go away. None of the killings, none of the, the crimes, none of the, uh, uh, the, the, the shame. Because people around, uh, around the world, Europe, the Middle East, uh, they, they are looking at America and seeing the hate unfold on a daily basis. And they cannot explain why this so-called liberated country is still so hateful to a people of color. It make no it makes no sense. My plea tonight is that, is that all people of color, first and foremost, black folks, African Americans, whatever you want to call yourself, whatever how you label yourself, but I'm gonna call you the people of God. We got to get back to love, man. We got to get back to building and rebuilding communities and neighborhoods. Getting out knowing your neighbors. Sharing with your neighbors, helping your neighbors. Having the kids over, uh, uh, over overnight. Educating them on people like the late Dr. Francis Chris Wilson, who uh, I send my regards, who passed away uh, just yesterday. So many calamities that, that, that we're seeing, but yet it has to start from ground zero. So many people, we, we won't be able to save people. I mean, let's, I, I can't be more candid than that. But getting these young folks, early as early as two years old, teaching them about Kemet, teaching them about the true and living God. Not that spook God that all these churches now have created. And that's Satan, by the way. But education, knowledge, elders getting back talking with the young people, teaching them about their, their, their history, their, their true history, and not slavery. Let them, know, let them know that the oldest college in the world is in Africa and it was called Universe and that's where they got the name University 
out of Africa. Teach them how to grow their own foods, make their own soap, make their own clothes. You may think this stuff is, is outdated, but let me tell you something. With Obama out of office now, you're going to see jobs drying up, unemployment rising, folks getting cut off of food stamps. You're going to need an answer. But you're going to need a unified uh, 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 community, a neighborhood to help you because there will be no longer no assistance. It's only, it's only going to be people and people. Either unified or divided. Teach these kids how to grow food and, and sell it. Teach them about banking. Creating a business and not going to school and having a forty thousand, eighty thousand or more uh, uh, tuition to pay on student loans. And here you are with a piece of paper, you're smiling, but you're in debt. Those days are over, and we can no longer, as a people, afford to have those types of days. Teach them about white supremacy. Teach them about respecting women, the history of, 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 of the black woman, how she came up. I know this may sound one-sided, but, but what I'm doing tonight, I'm dealing with the people that have been abused for thousands of years, not centuries, people. Because there they, they, they were a multitude of battles and we lost a lot of folks fighting the, uh, these zines before we, we became into ca captivity. We must find out about Dr. Ben, Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. Ivan Ben Sertima, as I mentioned earlier, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, Dr. Umar Johnson, Sheikh Antti Diop. The list goes on and on and on of all these people even Elijah Muhammad with the message to the black man wonderful book we have to build these, these these kids up man into a new nation the Bible talks about a new nation and we're not creating that the elders the the, 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 the 30 year old 40 year old everybody's so busy hustling getting paper as they say and nobody's glorifying God and putting God in the center of it all. And that's why we're failing. Truly from, from, from disobedience is why we're failing. Because we have a we have a, a, a world now that's so captivated with so much sex, vulgarity, disrespect of women, disrespect disrespect of self. All you want to hear is smut music, smut TV. And then all behind all the smut, you, you got the audacity to say, oh, praise God, ooh, the Holy Spirit. Satan, Satan rewards his disciples too. And right now, people don't understand because pastors not telling them, leaders, leaders aren't telling them, you're working with the devil. You are working for the devil. There's no other way to put this. But today marks a new day. Here at the Holy Spirit Radio Internet Show, as well as the By His Blood Ministries, along with the Center for the New Nation. We're going to be coming on uh, doing various videos like this, my, uh, uh, as you see, with myself. Are heading them. I may have some other people in my in, in my camp uh, doing videos, but this is a call to action, people. And we're asking for donations. We're asking. We're, we're selling shirts on Teespring. Anytime you see Holy Spirit Radio or Bible Blood Ministries or the Center for a New Nation, whenever you see 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 that 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 uh, symbol on there, that is us. That that is our brand selling uh, T-shirts. We're trying to raise money, actually, to get a building. But also to help lease a food truck. And this food truck 
is a is a profit for non-profit. What I mean by that is the food truck is going to be a place where we begin to, to store up food. We're going to be, be, be coming into some major calamities, man. And we're going to need to start today. <laughs> today. Having food stored up. Having water stored up. To be able to, to, to go into neighborhoods and feed people. If, if there's a child who, who, who need lunch, we'll set them up. We, we, we will set them up. Either with a stipend or we'll deliver the food personally. And all we ask is a volunteer come out and, and, and help work in the Liberty Garden that we're growing uh, uh, herbs and natural natural herbs and fruits and, and, and vegetables and so forth. And then we sell them to make a profit. We need you to help to get this building, man. We're, we're trying to get a building in, in the, actually in, in the Cab County area. We're trying to, there are some buildings. The buildings are, are, are pretty good buildings, um, 750 square feet. They're leasing for about $600 a month, between three and $600 a month. The food truck leasing is 300 and well, with, with insurance about $500 a month. So that, that leaves us roughly between twelve and $15,000 a year of paying for uh, the food truck as well as, as ha having the building for the after school program. This is serious people. I'm, I, I'm so serious. I, I've been coming to you uh, for a long time and, and I don't really like doing videos, but it's not about me. And that's why, that's why you see me tonight on, on this video channel. It's about doing the things of God, and God wanted me to do these, do, to begin doing these videos, asking for donations, and asking you guys, even if the shirt, you know, when you see the Teespring shirts that that we're, that we're doing, share it with someone. If if, if you're not able to, uh, to buy it right now, I understand some people may not have a job, or just can't afford it, but share that on on your Twitter, your Facebook page, Tumblr, or what have you. That that is a that is a wonderful way that, that you can contribute to the to the uh, to the campaign. I try to keep the shirts as minimum as possible. They want me to sell them for twenty five dollars. I, I I normally sell them for like fifteen ninety nine at the bare the, 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 the bare minimum because I'm believing that if I drop them prices, then we can buy more shirts. You might you, you might even can buy two or three shirts. We're going to be doing a crowdfunding uh, in the next coming weeks. And um, on the crowdfunding, we'll have more detail about the food truck, the cost, uh, the, the pricing, uh, what, what it will cost to, to get the food, the license and all that. We'll have that also as well as for the after school building. We're going to be asking uh, for donations of uh, laptops, iPads. So we're, we're really trying to help ourselves, but yet we're going to need your help as well. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to create these events throughout neighborhoods, plural. Our goal is to have roughly around 10 food trucks in the metro Atlanta area, but also throughout the entire state of Georgia. And have these trucks expand and go to other cities and states around the country and then begin then again begin to build school, school school programs let me say this real quick there's no longer there's nothing for these kids these kids to do in the summertime yeah I see people have summer camps but they're only two weeks and what we're trying to do and also through the ministry too we, 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 we uh, ask for your donations and you're gonna see this all this stuff that, 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 that you participate in, you're going to see it happening live. You're going to see the building. You're going to see the food truck. And for all of those who donate, there's going to be a 15% discount on the food truck. And again, we'll get more in detail with that, with, with the crowdfunding. There, there'll be a lot of giveaways, uh, free t-shirts, uh, discount prices, and so on and so forth. And have your your name on the food truck as well, and a, and a plaque on the building. We need your support, people. And and, and we need to and we need to 
cut back on our spending. You know, a friend of mine today, she went to, to what they call Linux Mall here in, in Atlanta, Georgia. And she just went in to go get some makeup. And lo and behold, she couldn't believe. In mind that she went to a few black-owned beauty stores and they didn't have what she needed. So she ended up having to go to the mall. But she, but she did she did try to buy black first. But nevertheless, she said that here it is, January the 2nd, and the mall was packed with 99% black folk spending money. And hey, there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. I urge you to take care of yourself. But what we're saying is, this is a mighty thing that we're trying to do and that God has laid on my spirit to do. And I'm asking for your help. I'm pleading for your help. So that we can bring this thing in, into fruition and see these wonderful uh, 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 t-shirts of the Center for a New Nation, Holy Spirit Radio, the By His Blood Ministry. We, we, we want you to wear our shirts proudly. So that everyone knows that if they see that, they know that you are involved in a major change, changing of the atmosphere. Won't you help us? I'm on, I'm, on, I'm gonna leave some links at the bottom of this video. And again, please, please share, 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 share this video with, with, with anyone and everyone you can. And, and, and 